Well, it's video 200. Whoo! Who would have ever thunk it? Today, I'm loading some green feed bales and I am using a Coyote. Jeez, what is this thing? Is that an 1153? I don't know, I'll show you guys. Yeah, well, uh, X1153, I guess. With an 1153, KL1153 loader and an HLA grapple. Now, I didn't know how I was going to like this grapple, but it's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. Very gentle. Very gentle. Anyway, let's climb up inside this thing. This does not belong to me. I just want to say that. And, uh, so access is pretty decent. The old Primo leather seat. What I really like about this tractor is that slope in the hood. Lots of visibility. Lots of visibility. You can see down fairly easy down there. Nice heavy vinyl floor. I haven't quite figured out this transmission yet, but uh, good ergonomics. You can leave your arm on the armrest and grab the joystick controller. This one does not have a third function on it. And uh, we're using the number one controller for uh, for uh, the grapple. Heater and air controls, radio, a little escape hatch, comes with the flip down visor. Windows flip out. I like these better than I do on the 108. They're not, they're all kind of plasticky, but well, maybe I don't, I don't know. You, uh, charge port, place to hang your coat. Lots of cubby space, but uh, decent ergonomics for for the layout of it. All your switches are pretty handy. Uh, PTO is selectable between uh, 540 and 1000, just down on your left hand side. My biggest complaint about this tractor, <laughs> and I've only put like an hour on it or two hours on it, but is. Uh, is the seat and it seems to be the same in all these orange tractors like maybe not the m7 but these seats just they don't they're not as comfortable as say in my 140 pro but anyway let's uh oh and i like that foot control that's slick let's grab a bale here oh let's, let's wreck a bale Now, I was, my concern was loading my bale deck with this system. I'll show you how I've managed to I'll give her a little more juice. A very short throw on the left hand reverser. I know some folks don't like that left hand reverser, but I couldn't see buying a tractor without it, especially in my business. So, yeah. so what I've done, or figured out to do, is uh, squeeze the grapple all the way, and then you come in here, nice and gentle like, Put it down in the well in order to get the bale pushed up. Let's do that. You guys know if you watch my videos, I'm a fan of the size of the Kubota. 
108 that I have and this uh, 1153 fits right in there. I think this one's about 110 horse on the engine. Um, it's It's got great lines, it really does. Um, great sight lines in this tractor. These bales are four by five and weighing about, I don't know, I would say they're in that 1500 pound range. Um, just because I know the feel of them on the truck and uh, with road restrictions still on here, we're doing our best to obey that. Sorry, I'm driving one-handed here. It's a little busy without that third function on the joystick, but uh, for the money these guys paid on these tra on this tractor, they actually bought two. Bought the. 70s horsepower one as well. They're uh, a sheep farm, sheep and grain farm, and uh, uh, this thing yeah, it's pretty slick. Like I say, I really like the layout of the of the loader control. So I just thought I'd throw this together. Uh, is this is the first time I've operated it and I know some guys were I know uh, one of the guys that I chat back and forth was with was had this on his list of tractors so uh, or the 10 series or the 1053 but uh, I think for a smaller operation just doing you know, not doing heavy tillage. I think that this would be, you need an auger tractor. I think that this would be a decent tractor for it. You know, if you're a grain farmer, but if you're, uh, if you got cows or whatever, this would be cows and sheep. It's a great size tractor. It comes with front fenders on it, which my Kubota doesn't have. And I know it's not, you're not comparing apples to apples. It's not, not what I'm trying to do, but it's the only thing I have to compare it to is the Kubota tractor of mine. So uh, that's why I reference it. Would I rather this to the Kubota? I don't know. I'd have to put some considerable seat time in this thing to have that determination. But uh, I know what my Kubota is capable of, and it is a very capable tractor at 108 horsepower. And this one here, who knows? Maybe it's just as capable. But uh, layout wise, lots of glass. Very, very, very comfortable. Again, no buddy seat, which my daughter who's trucking with me today is not happy about because she likes to get the tractor and hang out. She actually likes to drive the tractor, which is cool. Uh, yeah anyway uh, 200th video would like to say thank you to everybody that's taking the time to leave a comment a thumbs up subscribed over the years we're at 640 some subs now which is cool still haven't made the thousand mark but that's all right we don't do this for we don't do this for anything but for fun uh, happy to see lots of these channels that have started lately have made it over a thousand and that's good for you guys they put a lot of work into it and they should be rewarded thusly but yeah just a look from the inside so there's from what I can see there's 16 speed forward 16 speed reverse um, The factory grill guard, though, I'm not impressed with that, I'll tell you that. It's out there too far. 
and with those hoses, I think he might run into a problem with snagging them hoses. But that's just me. But yeah. I don't think they ran this tractor on the round baler last summer. But I know they run their TMR mixer with it a time or two and it did its job. Close that up, swing around, push some bales up. Probably shouldn't load this much weight on one side of that trailer all at once, but we're making a video. Oh, there, she pushed that good. Really good. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay guys, anyway, uh, hope everybody's having a great day in Canada, it's uh, holiday Monday, but uh, there's no rest for the wicket, so uh, yeah. we'll get these bales loaded up, dropped off, and we'll go from there. Take care.